Hi folks, I have a site which is hosted on Heroku and I need a wildcard SSL certificate for that site. And uh, my previous experience has been quite tricky. I have to make notes and get help from others to rightly install the certificate on, on Heroku. Um, so in this video, I'm going to go through the whole process for a new site. And in this way, uh, this is a, a video which will be uh, mostly for myself, but I thought that might as well record it so that I could benefit from it and maybe it will help someone else also. So here is our site. I try to, if I refresh it, I see the message that secure connection is not provided. I am already, I should be logged into Namecheap. Okay, I need to log into that. I log into that and this is where the Heroku is where we need to put our certificate. And uh, and I'm using a DNS uh, made easy. You could be using something else and that would be fine. Okay, so first thing is that we need to buy a certificate. Um, so let's go over here, go to SSL cert. And here we will look at uh, wildcard, positive wildcard. Yeah, it says that it's $39, but it's for five years. So we'll have to pay the full price because I need it only for one year. So then the price changes to $72. Let's confirm the order. Okay, so now I'm going to log in and that's not really important. So I will uh, come back when I've already uh, made payment for it. Okay, so I just made the payment and the payment has gone through. I've made a payment of 72.88. Now let's go to manage. So here we'll activate it. Okay, so now we need the CSL certificate. So for this, we need to go to terminal. And here in terminal, we need to execute this command. Just let me copy it. Okay, so I'll put this in show notes. So it will ask for the country code. So I'll put the US, province, California, locality, Pleasanton, organization name, refinery. Unit name, engineering, common name. For, so fully qualified host name. So here, since it is a wildcard certificate, so I need to put star dot need to help dot net email address. My email address. Okay, I don't need. So now, if you look at it here, we have server dot csr and server dot key. So now, what we can do is go to our file. And from here, using the, from the downloads, we will be able to, so this is what I'm doing. It's asking us to move the CSR file, so let's just move the CSR file over here. Okay, no, so it's a file. Okay, so I need to, that is, okay, let me open visual code. It opened on the other editors. I'll do here. Go copy the whole thing. Paste it here. Okay, so it picked up the domain correctly, so that's good. Now let's go to next. I will not select Windows. So, how are we going to authenticate? So, I will be using DNS based approach. So, let's use GNS. It will ask us to create a CNAME record. Okay, submit. Okay, done. Now here we need to get the CNAME record. So let's click here. And this is where I got stuck. I was not sure that here I need to click this pull down menu and then get record. I, I think that this interface is not that intuitive. I got stuck at that. Uh, so now if you get record, so here I will get the, what is the, I need to put in my CNM record. Okay, so that's done. Done. Um, 
So now we are getting the message that it's in progress. Usually it takes a minute or two and then it will say that uh, it's, it's ready. So I'm going to pause the video when it's uh, available, then I'll come back. All I will be doing is refreshing this screen. Okay, so it took us approximately a minute or two minutes. Now it says it's active. So let's go ahead and download the certificates. If I get the certificate here, let's open it up. Okay, so here if you look at the certificate, we have CA bundle, CRT. Uh, so what we need to do is right now is, okay, so now this is done. Now we need to go to uh, Heroku. Here we need to add configure SSL, go to manual certificate. However, before we add the certificate, we need to combine the two certificates, this one and this one. So the way we can combine them is we need to execute a command. So let's go to, yeah, so here, these two certificates are available. We need to combine them, so cat. Yeah. Okay, so here we need to combine the first two selectors so of cat. So here the order is important. The first one needs to be .crd file and the second one needs to be A bundle file and we will do SSL bundle dot CRT. Okay, so now we have the CRT file. So let's go to Heroku. Here we'll copy and paste the file from okay, wrong command. Okay, so here, this is the SSL bundle. Okay, what happened? Okay, and the second one will be the server.key. Okay, so sometimes what happens, we get this error, and the reason why we get this error is because if we do cat on SSL, uh, let's see, see here you see, these two files are combined. They should be separated after five dashes. So let's open these file in, insert, It's not counting one, two, three, four, five. After this, so this, this looks good. Now let's try to add this one. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Manual certificate. I don't know if you need for both of them, but I'll go ahead and apply it. So certificate has been accepted, which is a good news. Now let's just try to we'll try to curl it and see if the certificate is working or not. HTTPS app dot to help dot net. Yeah, as long as we see some HTML, it's fine. If the certificate is not okay, then we will not see any HTML. We'll see some kind of connection error. So that's it folks, that's how we set up uh, the wildcard SSL in Heroku and we saw there were some issues regarding the two lines were on the same line and the interface of Namecheap is not necessarily the most friendly one, uh, but uh, uh, this video will be useful to me in future. Thank you very much.